hello YouTube welcome back to my channel um, today I want to show you how I did a quick sew in on my hair I have been requested to do this video uh, I'm going to sew in my hair uh, using the crochet method to finish up the uh, parts that means I'm not going to use um, a closure for this um, video so first of all my hair is washed and I'm putting it in this um, big sections then I'm going to add this oil this will make my hair not to itch after I have you know so in the weave uh, after that I'm going to remove the sections and allow it to air dry a little and afterwards my hair is going to look like this so now I have to start making the braid pattern so this all depends on what you want if you want to have a center part then you have to have a part in the center I'm going slightly to the side so I try as much as possible to make a straight line Then I'm going to make my first corn row going to the middle like I'm showing I'll let you watch part of this um, um, braid pattern then I'll come back So now I've finished the braid pattern. Like you can see, I finished up so simple. I made sure that I made a corn roll that passed the back of my hairline. Then I made this large one. For this video, I'm going to use this hair. This hair I received from Ali Pearl. This hair is their Jerry Coily hair. And like you can see, the curls they are quite tight and nice. It came with this uh, closure. Um, the closure is well defined and beautiful like I said Ali Pearl hair and the bundles are 18 20 22 and the, um, the closure is 16 and the the, the 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 hair is rich and so beautiful I like the color is natural black and so this beautiful hair is going on my hair right now so you just have to stay tuned and watch how I'm going to install this hair. You will love this method and you will love this hair. So I'm starting with the longest one at the back. And of course I'm using thread and needle. I make sure I double my weft. So I pass through the needle through the weft for the first one and I begin from the back. I have to fast forward this video because this video was very long so I just had to just do that pardon me for that and you know sewing my hair is one of the things that I really like doing before we started wearing wigs I used to like to sew my hair on my head like the first time I sew my hair on my head oh my god I couldn't even believe that I could do it you know it happened when I was in uni you know so I went to the uh, hairstylist and they like they didn't have chance to do my hair and I desperately needed to do my hair at that time so what I did I just went into a shop I bought needle and I bought uh, like a black thread you know that kind of thread that you use for um, what's it called uh, that this kind of thread that you use for threading your hair you know some of you understand the kind of thread I'm talking about if you're from Nigeria or Africa so I bought that kind of thread and I got home no home, I got to my hostel and I can't even remember, you know, using uh, a mirror to do my hair. And I 
weave my hair all back i left some leave out in the front you know that time you know this uh, all back kind of um weave was you know in vogue so i now made my hair and the next day when i uh, went for lectures everybody was like oh your is this your hair it looks so nice because i blended it so nicely and actually that gave me a kind of confidence sometimes when people see me so my hair they're like oh i can't do it who told you you can't the day i i made that hair out I, I didn't know i could do it but somehow i did it and it was very nice and ever since that time i started making my hair by myself so basically what i'm trying to say is that some of you just need a little push just for you to just believe in yourself that you can do do this if you're a student you're in school far away from home or maybe you're somewhere that is not convenient for you to find a hairdresser you can just try on your own you know and try to fix your hair or braid your hair or something you know diy you know diy is everywhere now <laughs> and it is really 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 it makes sense honestly so now like uh, the hair i'm using the last bundle and i'm going to make sure that i um sew everything on all the corn roll so after i finish sewing the whole head i'll come back and show you the next step Okay, now so this is the point where I'll need to crochet the finishing so now like you see I you must have your crochet needle then you, you pull it through from the angle you can see on uh, in the video then you pull some hair on random random hair you don't have a particular line you're going to get the hair when you put it inside you know I'm going to repeat again like now you put it inside look for some hair put it close the latch then pull it and bring the hair and this will cover this the the need the thread that you use in you know finishing the top and this is going to come out like invisible part no this is actually invisible part it's not like it's invisible, invisible part this is very easy to achieve honestly everybody will just keep asking you how did you finish that hair because they can see your part you can see your your own um scalp but they'll, they'll be wondering how you finish the part so for those people that do not want to use um lace closure of course there are lots of people that don't like lace closure because for them it doesn't work for them it doesn't lay flat for them this is an alternative and it is very very good and very easy to achieve if i can do this on my own head then you can do it on your own head. you can do it on your client's head you can do it on your customer's head or anybody's head so this is what i'm going to be doing and i'll show you the final look so now i've finished so i'm going to um add this sheer miracle living conditioner on this head to set the places that i pulled hair out from so that the coils can go back and one thing with this hair is when you wet it it's so lovely can you see my part can you see how gorgeous my part is and this hair is beautiful soft bouncy i got lots of compliments uh people kept um, asking me where i got this hair and i just gave them the link so that they can check it out and i'm sure they'll not be disappointed by the time they purchase this hair i'm going to put every link that you need in the description box and yeah that'll be all for now i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video don't forget to share it with your friends and family and so yeah that's all for now 
Bye. Bye.